Good day, everyone. Welcome again to another edition of Fayette Focus. Harry right with you. Today, my guest from the OSU Extension Office here in Fayette County, we've got Pat Brickman. Pat, how are you? I'm good today. How are you? I'm great. Today, we're going to talk about the wonderful health fair that's coming up. Yes, we have the Fayette County um, Community Health Fair and Fun Day, Family Fun Day on April 28th. Uh, from 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock at Grace Community Church. Um, come out and join us. We have lots of activities for kids and all kinds of health screenings and all kinds of information about your health that you can get there to learn more about how to stay healthy and how to be healthy. Now, the extension always has that really cool table right by the front door. How you got that primo spot, I don't know. But <laughs> what's what are some of the things you'll be having there? Um, we will be doing Dermascan screening, which is skin um, to showing the sun damage on your face. Um, and um, it's kind of a scary picture, but it really does help you realize that we need to put sunscreen on our skin every day um, to keep us from getting possibly skin cancer in the, in the future, but also skin damage. For sure. Um, and then we have lots of other health screenings. Um, there'll be health screenings for health, height, and vision, and hearing. For blood pressure, will be checked actually in a couple different places, so you can get that checked. Um, foot care um, is available to talk about. Um, body fat can measure, you can, the why um, Eric Gerber comes out and measures um, body fat if you want that measured. Um, Soliosis soli screenings are available. Um, depression screenings are also available. There's paraffin therapy, which feels so good on your hands. <laughs> I was telling Pat before we started filming that it's one of my favorite things. I have arthritis in my knuckles and that warm paraffin on your hands. You're sitting there with your hands all stuck together and that feels so good. It does feel very good. I agree. Um, bone density testing will be available. Um, finger sticks for glucose. So if you want that glucose check, um, blood glucose check, um, dental screenings, and that includes the whole family, I think, this year rather than just preschool. Um, so um, there will be um, prescription drug disposal um, available from 10 to 2, and that's where if you have expired drugs in your house or drugs you're no longer taking, come and, come and have them give them away to the sheriff's department who will be collecting there. Um, as we know that that is one case where if they get in the wrong hands, they can cause some real bad problems for those that end up taking them maybe. So getting them out of your house is the best thing you can do. And don't flush them. When you flush them, you put them in our water system because the, the sewer goes to the sewer plant. Now the sewer plant is there to filter out some things, one of the things that does not filter out is prescription drugs. And those drugs dissolve in the water. They get put right back into Paint Creek. And, and the poor people in Chillicothe drink that water. So let's not do that. Yeah, it's not a good thing. We don't recommend doing that anymore at all. This is the right way and the proper way to disposal. And the Sheriff's Department will also be collecting them that day um, behind the Sheriff's um, Department in the alley where they're off of Main Street. Um, and there is a 24-hour collection site there inside the jail if you just walk in in that glass enclosed area there um, walk on in there's like a kind of like a mailbox and you just right. stick them in the mailbox and then they're gone forever and you don't have to worry about them um, there'll be balanced screenings for adults from 10 to 1 um, and check for risk of falls um, there's also developmental screenings for children from 10 to 1 and then we have some fun things for families um, face painting for kids there's this um, clowns with the balloons that everybody likes balloon animals yes everybody likes balloon animals right um children characters walking around you can get your picture taken with um i know we have some princesses coming so you know yeah, i think last year we had like spongebob and a few others but i think i've been told this year it's disney princesses yes, it's disney princesses i know so come out and get those um bounce us bouncy houses um there will be carnival games um there's um um, the zoo is going to be there. Columbus Zoo is coming from one to two with their animals, um, which is always fun to see the different kind of animals they bring out to us. Um, the alpacas will be there from 10 to 1, weather being good. Um, and then we at 12 o'clock noon, we'll have the med flight come in. So you can come and see that helicopter and the kids can look inside and see what a helicopter is really like. You know, you wouldn't think you see, well, it's a helicopter, but watching that thing land is cool. I don't care if you're 80 years old or you're eight years old. You stand there and just watch. Watching it and watch the wind hit off the ground, it's cool. Mm. 
And then um, Home Depot will be doing a children's activity where they get to build something. I think they're going to build a little birdhouse or whatever um, at 11 o'clock. So um, that should be lots of fun for the kids between 11 and noon. Um, some of those will take out, hopefully will be outside in the shelter house area. Um, that's weather permitting again. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. And I think the last two or three of these uh, events, uh, the health fairs, it's rained a little bit. But it, it really, with the, the Grace Community Church there, it's really huge inside. And it doesn't hamper what's going on inside it. Now, some of these screenings do require that you get an RSVP ahead of time. That you say, hey, I want to have my blood tested or I want to have my bone density. I've noticed the vascular screenings, you need to call the hospital, 335-2945, that number there if you want that vascular screening. But so of those so you might is there a number they can call ahead to see if they need to get a, a reservation for screenings um, most of the screenings as long as you get there before two o'clock um, except for the vascular you can get in usually so before one o'clock I think it'd be there one for sure um, so most of them you don't have to sign up necessarily beforehand the hospital is very happy to have you sign up for any blood work ahead of time because that just helps them know how much supplies to bring over and what to do um, so that's very helpful so if you can do that um, there'll be strip ads on the bottom of the newspaper you can pick up flyers um, in different places that are available to um, fill out the information and send it in and the blood work is very very inexpensive um, and a real bargain, especially if you have to pay for it yourself, otherwise out of your own pocket. Exactly. I mean, this, some of these screenings here cost upwards of twenty dollars a piece, and you can get them done at the health fair here at, at no cost to you. That way, that, that information can be forwarded on to your doctor, and you've got these things done. It is a really nice way to get uh, information about different services available in Fayette County. There'll be several services there at represented at the health fair, and you can come if you're new to the area or you know someone who. Who is new to the area this is a great place to take them so they can get used to what's available that's very true and there'll be some emergency vehicles behind the church there um, hopefully the ladder truck from Washington Courthouse Fire Department will be there um, and they'll have the ladder up so the kids can see all that and there's a smoke trailer that'll be there so lots of other things the kids can go around and look at um, as long as they haven't been on emergency run they'll be there <laughs> now you have food too yes we do offer some food um, through some vendors um, and they will be there out in the shelter house as a plan but last year we had to pull them into the um, lobby there front lobby of the church because it it, oh, yeah, last year's weather was not good. So we're really hoping for sunshine and warm weather this year. We're due because two years ago, it kind of rained a little bit um, and, and ruined some of the outdoor things. Last year, it rained a lot and ruined everything outdoors. Uh, will the Bloodmobile be there as well? Yes, they will be. So um, call ahead if you want to get blood because they'd love to have that filled up ahead of time and be able to give you a time. Um, but I know that there probably will be some open spots that we encourage you to get blood to. That's right, because you give the gift of life, you can save up to seven lives with one donation of blood. So it's all the health fair, Saturday, April the 28th at Grace Community Church. And that's located 825 Glen Avenue in Washington Courthouse. The times are 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get to be the uh, host, the MC for the event again. We'll have a lot of fun. So come on out. We'll learn about what's going on in Fayette County and what services are available. We'll learn about being healthy, eating healthy, living healthy. And we'll have a whole lot of fun. And, of course, door prizes, door prizes, door prizes. There are door prizes, and there'll be big drawings for some good, really good bird tar prices. So come on out and join us. It's amazing because starting at about 10 o'clock, maybe 10.30, the young lady will start running me over tickets because we have to start giving door prizes away that early to get them all given away by 2 o'clock. So, yeah. folks, come on out. It's a great time. Uh, bring the kids. They'll have a lot of fun. The food that she's talking about is very reasonably priced. Everything really certainly is geared towards you becoming the healthiest you that you can be. Pat, thank yeah. you so much for spending time with us today. No problem. Thank you. Come out and join us.